Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we make software and tech simple and stress free. In today's video we are diving into 90.io, the powerful business operating system built to help you run your organization with clarity, accountability and efficiency. So we will walk you through how to set it up from scratch, give you a guided tour of its key features, and of course, show you a hands-on demo so you can see it in action. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a team leader, or part of an EOS company, this video will help you get started fast and make the most out of what 90.io has to offer. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do visit the official website of 90.io all right and then from here you would be able to see that there's going to be an option where you can try it for free absolutely at no cost click that button and you will be forwarded to a generous 30-day free trial no credit card no contract all of the features you can set up your account in just a few simple steps now to make the account creation faster and easier they offer an option to sign up with your Google account. If you do, now you will be forwarded here because I'm gonna be using my Gmail account. I'm gonna click on the let's go button and you will be forwarded to here, All right? You need to set up your company. So basically there's three steps along the way. Provide your email, account, and company, all right? And then what will happen is on the last page is gonna be the company and click on the next button. All right now you have the option at this point to invite team members but if you don't want that just click on the not right now and then you will have the perfect opportunity to try 90 all right now this is going to be a the welcome message i'm not going to do that i'm going to click on next we will explore the features on the left side panel of our dashboard and you would notice that now let's go to the sections here one by one Obviously, the My90 is a personalized dashboard showing your priorities, team to do's, rocks, private, milestones, centralizing what's most relevant for your daily or weekly focus. You have an option to create to do's, create rock if you want it. Of course, you also have the option at this point to edit the layout. All right. So you have that, or you can simply cancel. I'm not going to do that instead. I'm going to hover to the insights. Now, the insights is going to be your visual dashboards and analytics to give real-time performance data. Now, you see that there's going to be rocks, meetings, to-dos, issues, and one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to deal with that later. But the idea is it helps you and your team track progress towards goal using charts and reports. You can simply create a new insight right here. You can, for example... You have an option to make it like a bold underlined and then you can set a priority say for example one and you need to enter who is the issue with and you can do that by creating an issue if you want it all right just as an example now we're going to go to the data because this stores your scorecard metrics key numbers track weekly helping you monitor performance again targets over time you can add kpis if you want it for example let's click on next Say, for example, we're going to create our new KPI or create an issue, all right? Now, the next is going to be the rocks. Basically, rocks are 90-day goals, okay? So, this section will allow you to set, track, and update progress on quarterly priorities. Click on next. And if you wanted to add a rock right here, let's create a new rock. Let's create a rock. Now we've done that. All right, let's go to the to do's. Basically, as it's a self explanatory, because to do's are short term actionable tasks, you usually do within seven days. If you click the create a do right here, you would have that. Click the create to do, and we're successful on that already. And then, same goes with the issues. It's a running list of problems, obstacles, or ideas that needs discussion or solving 
right? You get it's used during level 10 meetings to stay focused on problem solving. And of course, if you want to create an issue, we can do that. It's, it's simply a straightforward process. You can create this, but I'm skipping that because issues and to-dos are almost the same. But instead, we're going to go to the meetings wherein you can schedule and manage level 10 meetings or other recurring meetings. You can start a meeting. For example, is it going to be a weekly, quarterly planning meeting, annual? So you have all these. For example, it's going to be a weekly meeting, all right? You'll be forwarded here, all right? You can share your good news and you can create the next meeting. You have all of these options. You can view and finish. Click on finish for that. And basically you've done that your first meeting here. The headlines is a place for good news, team wins, or important announcement. It encourages culture building by recognizing positive ap updates. If you click the create, cascading message you can do that by clicking on here and then we go to the vision because this is where you store your company's vision traction organize uh, organizer like um, core values mission tenure target marketing strategy and a lot more it keeps everyone aligned on long-term goals so the idea is if you wanted to create you can do that you have vision goals long-term issues and s d o t all right, you can do that here. And then there's going to be the org chart. It's going to be a visual representation of your team structure, showing roles and accountabilities because the EOS calls this as the accountability chart, not a traditional job title hierarchy. Of course, the one-on-one -on -one is a tool for conducting and recording one-on-one -on -one meetings with team members. It helps managers track individual development and engagement. And of course, the process stores the documented core processes in your business. For example, if you have like sales, onboarding, ensuring consistency by sharing step-by-step -step workflows. The directory is going to be a list of team members with contact and role info. If you click on it, you can select a role, access, and a lot more. Now there's going to be an always toolbox, a collection of EOS tools like the accountability chart, issue lists. There's a lot to begin here. You can add a new resource if you want to enter the name, description, URL if you want and create the resource wherein you can design to reinforce EOS methodology. Of course, the new knowledge section is going to be a new addition here in 90.io. It's a knowledge base or wiki for storing internal information sops policies and faqs and of course helping onboarding and reducing repeat questions last is going to be the assessments where it's a tool for evaluating team health individual performance or organizational alignment it includes eos uh, scorecards or custom surveys and then there's going to be the add teammates wherein you can add invite new team members to the platform assign them for roles, teams, and permissions. And last is going to be providing feedback. All right. Now, the learning and support refers to the help articles, tutorials, and customer support, which is useful for onboarding and troubleshooting platform features. And with that being said, that's a wrap on our walkthrough of 90.io from setup to demo. And of course, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe for more software and tech tutorials just like this one. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming guides that can help streamline your business operations. If you tried 90.io yourself or if you have questions or experiences to share, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.